Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Robin Sherry. Hey, welcome back to part two of Gardening with Robin Sherry. Today in this video, you're going to see how we took our new boxes we built and put in 15 bags of potting soil. Then we added our other layers and we do have some time lapse on here. So kick back and enjoy and see how well, how much it costs and how much work there is just to build a 3 by 10 above ground garden in Arizona. So, here we go. So to start off this project, we had to carry 15 bags of potting soil above ground. And uh, you can see each one of those was kind of a slow processor. Kind of heavy, just enough where it was better to have two people. And you, we're going to show you one procedure of doing this with regular speed of having to bring the uh, bag from the truck through by the boat then open it up and then dump it into the box and we did that several times so let's uh watch this process once and then we'll start the time lapse This is our second day working on our planter boxes and boy these things are sturdy I really like like this and we are going to put um, a 2x6 along the top so we can sit down work on our garden and all that stuff but we still have a little ways to go so we have five more bags of the organic above ground uh, potting soil that we're using and then we have to spend the big money and we're going to add worm castings uh, a higher grade um, soil that we used last year that we're really happy with and I'll show you pictures of all this stuff and then uh, also some uh, coconut core which is uh, mixed into the dirt to help uh, hold moisture into uh, into our garden and then we'll put some mineral dust on the top and uh, we're ready to go so um, give you an idea of cost we'll probably have about two hundred dollars into just the uh, uh, soil alone and building our uh, box was another probably close to two hundred dollars so it's been about a four hundred dollar project uh, not not cheap the first year but like our, our garden on the other side over on this side um, you know we invested a lot of money in that last year but this year you don't have to do as much we put a little bit more uh, uh, worm castings in it and it's planted and Ah, lots of work and so uh, for us old fuddy duddies um, this has uh, been kind of tough because it's still pretty warm uh, we're still getting in the 90s here in Arizona but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll be showing you a lot more we're gonna be adding on to it and we'll show you pictures of the different products that we're using so there you go <music> The next thing you see us doing is we're adding, we added all the higher quality soil uh, worm casting on the top and now we're dealing with what's called the coconut core which comes in a square piece which you'll, you'll see the time lapse of it and uh, it's actually kind of a chore because you put it in a bucket and add water as you can see in the film we got going there uh, and it takes quite a while to get that to soak in but it'll literally fill that whole bucket up with one um, one full bucket of just a uh, uh, coconut core and then we're gonna put that on uh, we got one block for each side we're gonna put that on the top and then blend it in with the good dirt and coconut core is good for holding moisture in and then once we're done with that we'll just put some mineral powder on top we're done and uh, 
then we start planting and uh, we already have some uh, little sweet peas we want to get planted right away so uh, that's the process we're almost there well we're almost done with the coconut core you can see the new uh, garden right over there I thought I'd show you how we're doing our time lapse some people think they're using a GoPro but this is actually a GoPro I'm talking on right now we use a camera called a Brino or Brino one of the two and this is it right here and uh, it's de it's designed just to do time lapse and it does a really good job and I haven't had a chance to use it for a while but here's what one side looks like so you can see it's real black and uh, you can see kind of brown in it and uh, that's uh, the worm castings and uh, the coconut core and then this is what the coconut core looks like while we're blending it and uh, it's amazing how that block turns into that much coconut core and uh, it's actually really good stuff we're really happy with it so uh, we're gonna add that to this side then we're all done we're gonna start planting uh, we are gonna put some mineral dust on this and uh, that's it we're done we want to thank you for watching we uh, our next video will be about putting the water system in for the new garden in the meantime I thought I'd show you what we've done with the old garden we've got our radishes and carrots and over here are broccoli and uh, more carrots and we just put in some romaine lettuce along that row here and we got spinach in the corner and we're saving room for some more spinach we just haven't got it planted yet and this will be all ready to go and uh, we're uh, slowly getting tomatoes new tomato plants going and uh, our next focus will be water system uh, some onions and also starting to plant the new box so uh, the water system will be interesting so uh, stay tuned for that so thanks for watching bye Hey, thank you for watching our two-part series on building our 3x10 above ground box in Arizona. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time, bye.